joining us. I'm Heather Scold. And I'm James Jarman. And first up tonight, Aurora Theater shooter James Holmes guilty on all 165 counts, including 12 first degree murder charges. The verdict was quick. Deliberations took about 13 hours. The jury that found Holmes guilty will now decide if he will see the same fate as his victims. Twelve people died in that Aurora movie theater in July of 2012. The penalty phase will begin on Monday, three years to the day of that horrific shooting. And we do have team coverage tonight from Arapahoe County. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen was the only Southern Colorado reporter in the courtroom when that verdict was read. She is talking with the Southern Colorado family whose lives Lives homes tried to destroy. And Cardio News Channel 13's Rana Novini has been covering the trial. And Rana, now the question is life in prison for homes or a death sentence? Yeah, that's right, Jim and Heather. That's the big question uh, here tonight, and that's going to play out here as the trial continues. It took the jury less than two days to throw out Holmes' insanity plea and find that he is guilty of killing 12 people, injuring 70 others three years ago. The jury foreman, we've learned, was actually a survivor of the 1999 Columbine shooting. And tonight, survivors and families of the victims say they can sleep a little bit easier. Count one, murder in the first degree, after deliberation, Jonathan Blunk, we the jury find the defendant, James Egan Holmes, guilty of murder in the first degree. From the first verdict, count 166, attempt to commit murder in the first degree, extreme indifference, Caitlin Petticorn, we the jury find the defendant, James Egan Holmes, guilty. To the very last, 165 counts of murder and attempted murder, jurors find James Holmes guilty of all of them. As soon as you heard the first, you know, guilty, we knew, you know, the dominoes were all, you know, going to fall. Family members of those killed are relieved, but it's bittersweet. Twelve people are still gone forever. None of these people are going to be at dinner ever again. Ever. And that matters. When they announced uh, Rebecca's name, the tears just flowed out of my eyes. And uh, still right now, it's just... It's, it's a level of sadness, and like there's this pain in my stomach. Days at the courtroom are not over yet. Sentencing is next, and the possibility of the death penalty. Many survivors and family members have one hope for this convicted killer. That he no longer gets to uh, breathe the sweet air us Coloradans get to, get to breathe anymore. One of the most critically injured was Caleb Medley from Southern Colorado. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen was the only Southern Colorado reporter in the courtroom when that verdict was read. She joins us now live outside the Aurora Theater where that shooting happened almost three years ago. Emily? A quiet night outside the Century 16 Theater. This is where James Holmes opened fire almost three years ago. Now, today in court, it was an incredibly emotional day for our families whose lives were forever changed by a trip to this theater. For the Medleys, it's been a long journey to this guilty verdict. It's just sad. You look around and we're full in this room full of people who have lost their sons and their daughter, you know, and their brothers and it's just it, it's hard to wrap your mind around so in a way I think it feels good and everyone kind of said congratulations to each other but there's really not a word you know that works for what right. really just happened I mean we're all happy that we got guilty but we're all really sad that we're all here right now. Caleb and Katie Medley were at the Dark Knight Rises movie premiere when James Holmes opened fire. Caleb was shot in the head and suffered severe brain injuries. The fact that we made it out alive any of us is the Florence couple was expecting their first child any day. Katie would give birth to their son while Caleb was in another round of surgery fighting for his life. Katie says their son Hugo pushes them forward. The fact that we have Hugo has kind of driven us this whole time also. So we've kind of had something driving us the whole time. We the jury find the defendant James Egan Holmes guilty of attempt to commit murder in the first degree after deliberation. Caleb says this jury's verdict brings yeah, yeah, yeah. relief. This family hopes Holmes gets sentenced to death. Meanwhile, they'll continue to focus on their lives. Getting Caleb better. That's our focus. What's been our focus, and that's going to continue to be our focus. Katie says this verdict isn't the end, but at least this is the answer they wanted. 
We did hear some rumblings about some possible protests or maybe even a vigil here outside the theater, but it has been quiet here tonight, especially after today's verdict. In Aurora, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. And as we mentioned, the penalty phase of the James Holmes trial begins on Monday, and the prosecution is seeking the death penalty. Yeah, we talked with retired judge and former defense attorney Victor Reyes. Holmes' attorneys are expected to argue that his mental illness is.